to a gathering of the people of God at this time. You're a worker. You're a preacher. You're a leader. You're a member. Do you desire anything apart from activity? I need to be at the kitchen now. I need to be over there before the water tank now. I need to be over there to fix this and fix that. Do you really desire anything, especially the power and the fullness and the baptism in the Holy Ghost? It comes with desire. And then you pray for what you desire. When you pray, then you believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And I will have them. But you know what you are praying for. You know what you are asking for. Matthew chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 11. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I. And he says, whose shoes I am not worthy or able to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. If you are satisfied of the coldness in your heart, you will not pray for the baptism in the Holy Ghost. If you are satisfied with business as usual, prayer as usual, program as usual, you will not pray with passion. You will not pray with purpose. You will not pray with drive inside your heart for the baptism and fire in the Holy Ghost. But he says he, when he comes, he, when you pray, he, when you desire, he, when you are passionate about it, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Uh, look at verse 12. In verse 12, whose fan is in his hand? He has the fan in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. If you have that, that the very floor, the bottom of your heart, and the totality of your heart, you want him to purge thoroughly, and then all that remains will be precious fruit or wheat that you are gathered into the Ghana. It says, but he'll burn up the chaff. You look at your life. Any chaff in my life? Chaff is not poison. Chaff is not sin or sinful. Chaff is just a non-essential that the wind should carry away so that we have the wheat only. Any chaff in your life? that you are presenting before the Lord is separation between the chaff and the wheat. And then with fire, he burns the chaff with unquenchable fire. And now, after having the power, the fullness, the baptism in the Holy Spirit, we continue, we continue. And every time you wake up in the morning, every time you're about to go and do the next thing, you reactivate, revive, renew that power in the Holy Ghost. The power will keep on burning forever and ever in your life in Jesus' name. To give you passion that will not stop. Fire that will not be quenched. The fullness that will never go down in Jesus' name. Now, you shall receive power. I will receive power. 
I will receive power. Those who pray, you shall receive power. Those who desire, you shall receive power. Those who consecrate, you sh shall receive power. Those who tarry, you shall receive power. Those who come to God with a different mindset that they had been having before, they shall receive power. They shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You know when it comes, if you are standing in the open and the rain comes on you, even if you are closing your eyes, you know when it comes. When you receive power then, after that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And then it shall be witnesses unto me. There will be a driving force from the inside. There will be the flame of fire from the inside that will propel you and drive you and move you to be witnesses unto him. In Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost part of your world. Let's, let's rise up now. And let's wholeheartedly come to the Lord in prayer. Saved, ascertain that. Sanctified, ascertain that. And now you want the power, the fullness of the Holy Ghost. Tarry, wait, call upon the Lord. Let him do it. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Brethren, this is very, very important message. I tell you, we need the power of the Holy Ghost. Power for service power for victorious living as a Christian. You need the power. Yes, if you have the power before, but we need to reactivate that power that you, you have received before at sanctification, at salvation, sanctification, that you need the power. You need the Holy Ghost baptism, that power. The Lord had promised. You need the power. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You will not go out of this retreat without receiving the power of the Holy Ghost. And if you have received it before, it's another opportunity for you to reactivate the power you have received before. You need the power. Do you desire it? The Lord has promised and his assurance that when we ask, he will give us, he said, wait, tarry, tarry, so the apostles tarry in Jerusalem, tarry. Thank you, we congratulate you, you have been there waiting today, and you have listened to the message of our Father in the Lord, you have listened to the message, you have waited, your waiting will not be in vain. I pray, pray, brothers and sisters, my brethren, let us pray. Pray, waiting and praying. Pray in faith. Desire it. And as you desire, the Lord will fulfill. The Lord has given us the assurance, has given us the promise that we should wait, we should tarry. And we should ask, ask, ask. Do you desire? Do you have you tarry? Ask for the power of the Holy Ghost so that you can be effective in your witnessing, so that you can be effective in your ministry, so that you can live a victoriously, a victorious Christian life. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, when he has come, you have seen that he's the God of all truth. He will bring all the truth. He will teach you all things. 
He will guide you. We need the Holy Spirit to, to guide us, to teach us the whole truth, to reveal unto us the whole truth, to help us and be successful in what we are doing. Brethren, open your mouth and pray. This message should not go in vain. We should not just say that, oh yes, I was at the retreat. I listened to the message on the power of the Holy Ghost. You have to possess the power. You have to possess it. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Ghost is come, to the comforter, the comforter will come and abide. Pray that, Lord, comforter come and abide in us. He continue in us and continue working, continue helping us. Open your mouth and pray. When he is there, he is the God of all truth, the comfort of the spirit of all truth. When he is abiding with us, all confusion is taken away. No confusion, no fear. And your word will have power when you go there to preach, to witness. You have seen fear. You are coward. Peter was fearful before, but on the day of Pentecost, we have seen what happened. He had the boldness. He preached just in one message. About 3,000 were saved, and people were asking, men and women, what can we do? The people were pricked in their hearts after they had heard the word of God. So, brethren, let us pray that God will give us that power so that we will not be just going, witnessing, witnessing. We don't see the result of our witnesses, the result of our evangelism. I've said it. The Holy Spirit will come. The purpose, the importance is that, yes, we have the power before, but when he comes, he will reactivate the power we have and also will bring in addition more power, more additional power to that we had before. Let us pray. He said, before, before I give unto you power to tread on the serpents and the scorpions and overwhelm the power of the enemy, and nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Have power against all the evil spirits, you have power to subdue all the force of darkness. You have power to preach. Power to preach, to go anywhere, to witness. And the Lord will be with you. We back the message. Let us pray. We need the power. Brothers and sisters, we need the power of the Holy Ghost. We need the power. The power comes with prayer, and we keep it also with prayer. So we have to desire it, then we have to pray for it, and to have this faith, to stand on the promises, to receive it, and you have to continue in prayer, so that each time as we come, even in the morning we come, we hope your mouth to pray, you activate that power. The power will continue with you. Open your mouth and pray. Brethren, pray for the power of the Holy Ghost. This is very, very important. A believer, a minister, a worker without the power of the Holy Ghost shall just there, but nothing is happening. Have nothing, nothing to show, nothing. There's no effectiveness. Your work will not be fruitful. Let us pray that God will empower us. Power to live victoriously. Power to receive the truth. To have the Holy Spirit abiding with us. To guide us. To lead us. To help us. To empower us. To help us. The Spirit comes. He gives the spirit of discernment. When you have that power, you will not be just deceived by what is going on. You have the spirit of discernment. Let us pray. 
this is very, very important. Open your mouth and pray. Brothers and sisters, we need the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Lord will answer us when we ask the Lord, because he has given us the assurance. He said, tarry until you receive. Tarry, wait, pray until we receive. And he said, you will receive, receive. Open your mouth and pray that the power will come. The power will come. The Lord has given us has given us the assurance, has given us the promise. Let us pray that the power of the Holy Ghost will possess it. And our ministry will be fruitful. We have the power to preach, to win souls, to witness anywhere we go, and to win souls into the kingdom of God. The power, we pray even, to seek as we say, to destroy every work of the devil. Let us pray. Oh, the end of God, I give unto you power. So let us pray. Receive the power to cast evil spirit. Receive that power to affirm the truth. Receive the power. Power to tread on serpents and the scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The enemy is hurt us. Power to do the work of God effectively. Power to live victoriously as a Christian. We have heard it today. Let it be a passion. We receive it by praying and we keep that spirit continue abiding in us by praying. And as we do it, God will help us. Pray. Thank God for this crusade, this retreat. Thank God for the message that's come. Thank God for his grace that you are there. That this message has come to us. Thank God the people who could have been there, some are taken away, taken away maybe by the celebration of this season here and there. But look at you. God has given you the grace to sit down, to attend the with the service and the Lord speaking unto you. Let us pray, open your mouth and pray, Lord, baptize me. Lord, fill me with your spirit. Holy Spirit, possess me. Lord, let your spirit dwell in me, abide in me, comfort abide in me. Let us pray. That God has asked for this retreat. After a message like this, we will never remain the same. We will never remain the same. The power of God will be manifested, demonstrated in our life, in our ministry, in what we are doing for the glory of God, for the service of the Lord. And the Lord will surely answer your prayer as you pray. You pray with passion. You pray with all in with faith. You pray. You desire it. Desire the spirit baptism and the God. Because you are prayed, you pray with faith, you pray with passion, you pray with determination. You desire it. The Lord who has promised, the Lord who has given us the assurance that God. Believe that he has answered. Thank him, thank him, thank him, because he has answered your prayer. Thank him, thank him, thank him, that he has answered your prayer. That we continue, the Lord will continue with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We pray that, Lord, with that, the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. We thank you for the message that has come at this time. Thank we you, pray Lord. that, oh Lord, you grant us, you fill us anew with your Holy Spirit. 
and with power. Let the presence of the Holy Spirit be manifested in our lives, in our ministry, and the grant of success. As we go out of this retreat, there shall be transformation, there shall be manifestation that, yes, we have been at the presence of the Lord. We tarried before him. He has filled us with you, and he has increased us more. Thank you, Lord, as we continue. Continue with us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, uh, we will go now into the second part of our um, fellowship service today is the crusade, so the part of the retreat for today, which is the prayer, with the message. Now we have to go into the crusade. Let us pray, open your mouth, thank God for his grace upon your life, that God is keeping you, bringing you before him to fill you, to bless you more. Pray that as we go into this session of the crusade, all the blessings, the package of blessings that the Lord has again for us through the crusade, they shall be ours in Jesus' name. Every hindrance, every obstacle, the Lord will take them away. Emmanuel, let Emmanuel come in our power, come in our life. Let Emmanuel come and bring peace, bring victory, bring salvation, bring empower us and transform our life in the name of Jesus and the move mighty in our life, in our every area of our life, in our families, in our church, in our ministries, in our homes. Let us pray that as we go, the Lord, in this session of the crusade, God will bless us mightily in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you. As we go into this session of the crusade, we pray that, oh God, you come down, Emmanuel, bless us mightily. Fill our hearts with the fullness of joy, with the gladness. Bless us overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for all what you have for us today. We thank you for what you have done already. We thank you, Lord, for from the first, the first day, the 21st of today, and we pray that, oh, Lord, we are, be, we are still expectant. Bless us, my three. Help us, oh, Lord. Touch every area of our lives. Save the sinners. Restore the backsliders, heal the sick, set the captive free in the name of Jesus. Emmanuel, come and bring peace. Come and bless us abundantly. Come and move. Let your presence move mightily in our life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, brethren, are you there? Yes, we are there. Sir, yes, we are here. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We are going to take uh, some time of prayer. 25 minutes, 5 minutes. I will call on uh, Pastor Claudius Bayote. Pastor Claudius, please. Over to you, five minutes. Pastor Claudius. Pastor Bayote is there. Pastor Timemba Claudius. Okay, if maybe it's there to come, Pastor Claudius, sister, what they want you? Are you there? I'm here. Okay, please, sister, go ahead. In Jesus name. Amen. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you. We worship you for this song. We thank you, we thank you Lord, for the truth of God. We thank you for how you have spoken to us. We need to have the Spirit of God and for all the benefits that arise from having the Spirit of God. Father Lord, we pray that you help us that we shall ever thirst for your presence and for your Spirit upon our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, we pray as we go into the session of prayer that uh, before the GCK that you would hear and answer our prayers and accept our praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us worship God. Let's thank him for he is our God. He is our Savior. We thank him because of Jesus Christ who came to who came. Muted, sir. Sister, you are muted. Let's check. We are celebrating, I mean, it might not be the exact day, but we are celebrating the coming of Jesus Christ into this world, even this very day. We are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Let us just worship God and bless God for Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our God. Let us thank God. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful, Marvelous, Mighty Father, Prince of Peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the only true God. He's the one who came. He came for you. He came for me. He came for all of us so that through him we might have life. And not just have life. He came that we might have abundant life. Let's thank the Lord. He's Emmanuel. He's God with us. Ever present. Ever present with us and ever willing to help us. Ever willing to pour out his blessings. Ever willing to guide us. The spirit of truth is here to guide us and guide us into all truth shows us the way we should go. He has not left us. He has not forsaken us. But even when Jesus came and after he was leaving, he said, he said, I will send my spirit. And he has sent his spirit. God is ever dwelling with us. And we know that as his children, he has interest in every area of our lives. He has interest in everything that we do. Let us thank the Lord for his presence, his ever abiding presence. Let's worship the Lord. Thanks. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lord. He's the everlasting Father. He's, he's the I am that I am. Let us praise him. Let us worship him. He's the He's God with us. Emmanuel, that is the that's the theme of our, our retreat. Let's thank God because he's ever with us. He's ever willing and ever able. He, he's never tired. He's never tired of being with us. He's never tired of listening to us. He's never tired of hearing us. Let us worship God. And we know that even as we are here today, we know that he is also going to hear us. He's also going to speak to us. He will tell us what he wants to hear, and also he will hear our prayers. Let us bless God. Let us worship him and pray that as we continue, he will continue with us. He will speak to our hearts. He will speak to our lives. He will speak to our situations, and he will show us the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor Olawaye, please. You take over. Pastor Olawaye. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we continue to go before the Lord and continue to appreciate 
all the marvelous things the Lord has been doing in our lives since the inception of uh, this, uh, the global crusade and December retreat for this year. Let's bless the Lord for his mighty move, for unprecedented things the Lord is causing to happen across the world. For so is the Lord has touched, not only in Alpha locations, but across the world, globally. Let's bless the Lord. Let's give him praise. Oh, okay. Let's thank for daily renewal of the strength, the power, the bestowal of the mighty hand of God, the bestower of the glory of God upon the servant of the Lord, upon all our pastors and ministers the Lord is, has been using. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I read from the book of John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse and number 50. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree. Believe it thou, thou. Than this. Irrespective of your place of location of belonging, Christ told that man, Nathaniel, there are greater things. The curtain of, of, of this, this, this year is drawing to a close. We want to ask the Lord. Greater things, no ramification. The... Grace for greater things in your head. In whatever the Lord has called in... you for greater things, oh Lord God. It must happen. It, 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 it takes ministry where you are. Follow God me, me greater things it's for greater things okay. in my destruction of the of the yeah, of the of his drawn over this year. It's, Lord, it's, release on me tonight. Lord God, the curtain of this year is drawing down. Lord, I said, the we have seen the demonstration of, of grace to accomplish oh, what is doing globally. It takes the grace of God. What to ask the supernatural encounter that brings about accomplishment of great oh, things in my destiny, in my ministry. In my calling, in my work with God, the grace to do that, the divine encounter, a singular encounter that was that took place in the life of Jacob, the part of the nation of Israel. The grace to pray for greater things, the grace I need to seek God. In my life, release unto me my regards, grant unto me my regards. I'm only to the end of this year. Yes, I want this new year. I'm looking ahead of me, Lord. Greater things that you want me to do in your kingdom. I will say it was God that advanced Moses and Herod. But I'm now starting to accomplish greater things more than I've ever done in the kingdom. Let's ask the Lord. Lord, the Bible says that a man cannot receive anything except it is given unto him from above. Let's let the Lord open heaven tonight and the anointing for greater things, greater breakthrough, greater progress. The work we have done for the Lord, we need anointing to accomplish greater things. Let's ask the Lord to do that for us. He has said when we ask, He's promised that he will answer us. When we know we open, when we see we find, we are not satisfied, we are not satisfied here. We have not reached a place of satisfaction in all ramifications, all areas of our life and endeavors. We want to ask the Lord tonight, Lord, release upon me that grace. Make me to have that encounter that will lead me to accomplish greater things in your kingdom. pray. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Pastor Yemi, please. The Lord. Pastor Yemi. The Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah, so we continue with our prayer. Let's open our Bible to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. He said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. We're going to pray as we are ending the year and as we are welcoming the new year that God will give us the strength to do everything he has assigned us to do next year in the name of Jesus. Let's Amen. commit ourselves. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, your word says I can do all things. 
everything I needed to do as this year is running to end, as we are approaching year 2024, in the name of Jesus, I claim that the spirit to do everything, yes. the Holy Ghost power to accomplish everything you have assigned for me. Yes. In the name of Jesus, you will give unto me in the name of Jesus. Give unto me. I can do all things. Everything you want to do. You yes. want to prosper. You want to go further. further. You want to prosper in your career. You right. want to prosper in your business. You want to prosper in your uh, in your in, in in your ministry. Pray for the strength of God in the name of Jesus. The strength that Emmanuel has brought, the strength that God has given to us. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Let's pray for the strength of Christ. Let's pray that Father in the name of Jesus. I don't know tomorrow, but I know you. I know who knows tomorrow. I know who holds tomorrow. And I know that everything oh, that, that pertains to life, yeah. you have the power to retake it. Father, in the name of Jesus, as the year is approaching to the end, as I'm and welcoming the year 2024, it will, be a year of, it will be a year of power. It will be a year of moving forward. It will be a year that I will receive that power, yeah. that Holy Ghost, the power to be able to accomplish everything that I have not been able to accomplish accomplished in the last years yes. in the year before everything that i've been running for father in the name of jesus i pray that lord you will baptize me with that power to be able to accomplish them in the name of jesus everything you have assigned for me everything that you have put for me in the name of jesus they will locate me you will bring me the right people you will bring me the right helper in anything i do in the name of jesus in my progress, in my business, in the name of Jesus, let's pray for ourselves. Let's pray for our children that in the name of Jesus, they will do all things. They will do all things. They will do all things in the name of Jesus. All things that God has called them to do in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for those that are sick among us in our church, in our community, in our family. The Father, in the name of Jesus, that the power, the Holy Ghost power, the healing power of Jesus, the healing power of Jesus will come upon them. They will be healed and they will receive that power to do all things that God has told them to do in the name of Jesus. Let's pray for our women that this coming year, they will do all things through Christ that strengthen them, that every, every, every spirit that wants to wallow them down, that wants to slow the spirit of God in their life, let's rebook it. That God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for all our women, all our sisters, all our young ones, all the, all the singles, that everything they need to do this coming year, Lord, they will accomplish it. In the name of Jesus, they will possess their possession. In the name of Jesus, let's pray for all our leaders. Let's pray for all our leaders in the church that God of heaven will strengthen them, that they will be able to do all things that God has assigned to them to do, that this coming year, year 2024, will be a year of their dream, will be a year to accomplish, will be a year to possess. Let's pray for all our churches that in the name of Jesus, that the strength from heaven, the strength from above, we come upon us, we come upon every branches of, of Deep Life Church in America that we will do more than what we have done before. We will go to the north, we will go to the east, we will go to the west, we will go to the south, that the baptism of the Holy Ghost will come afresh upon us, that we will have that boldness to go and go with strength of Christ. We, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that, Lord, you will strengthen me. You will strengthen me in my marrow. You will strengthen me in my mind. You will strengthen me in my body. You will strengthen me in my soul that I will accomplish what you have assigned me to accomplish. In this lifetime, in the name of Jesus, I will accomplish what you have assigned me to accomplish. In the name of Jesus, pray for strength. Pray for divine strength. 
divine strength to be able to, to have that power, to be able to have that vision, to be able to have that passion, to be able to accomplish in the name of Jesus. As many who are looking unto God for children, that God will open their wombs. As many who are looking unto God to get married, that God will open their eyes. They will accomplish it in the name of Jesus. As many who are being, who have, who need paper, who need to get set with life. Father, in the name of Jesus, they can do all things through Christ who strengthen them. Father, we pray that that power, that anointing in the power in the in, in, in Christ will be upon them, that they will accomplish everything you have assigned them to accomplish. This coming year, oh Lord, year 2024 will be a year of progress, a year of strength, a year of accomplishment, a year that we look back and we praise God, a year that we will testify that as this year is even running to an end. Everything we have been looking to God for right from beginning of this year from January even to the last moment father in the name of Jesus give us the strength to accomplish all you have as assign us to accomplish in the name of Jesus. Because God is not a God who look at time. He's a God who does miracle. Father, we are praying for your divine miracle. We are praying for your divine strength. Father, strengthen us and give us that accomplishment in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everlasting Father, we worship you. We bless you again tonight. Thank you for your presence in our midst. And thank you for how you have given us your promise. And your word has told us that we can do all things through Christ, through Emmanuel, through God with us. And Father, we claim even today that, Lord, everything we needed to do as the year is running to an end, as we are going into year 2024, everything that you have destined us to do in the coming year, we accomplish it in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Ghost power, strengthen our, our brothers and sisters, strengthen all our family to accomplish everything you have called us to accomplish in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you for answering our prayer. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the session of prayer. The Lord has answered. He said, ask shall be given to you. He has answered our prayer in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. We go into the next item. The next item is press worship. So over to the media for press and worship. Who is like? 
came from heaven to earth to show the way. And from the earth to the cross, I dance in pain. And from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on You came from heaven to earth. Somebody put on your dancing shoes as we praise, as we praise, as we worship. Because he's God. Amen. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name. Thank you. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The next item uh, we call for testimony from the DC. Okay, testimonies. The Lord has touched you. The Lord, you have a testimony. Please, this is the time to glorify the Lord with the word of testimonies. We have just 10 minutes. Please. You have testimony, please can you indicate it? Testimonies. What the Lord have done for you in this this crusade or the previous testimonies. You have just ten minutes, we have given the opportunity. To share your testimonies and remember that testimonies will strengthen the faith of others to say if God can do this and that in the life of that brother, that sister, God is not partial. I don't know for him or for her, he will surely do for me. So the Have a few hands up. Have a few hands up. Hands up. There are two hands raised. The hands are raised. They are dead of wounds and the cage. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody no hats. They have the two no voice for it. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, Sister, go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Charita Dedoku from Norristown, um, Deep Alive Bible Church, Norristown, Pennsylvania. I want to testify of God's goodness um, upon my life and upon my family. Um, God has been so merciful and gracious unto us. You know, through ups and downs, God has shown himself faithful. Uh, my specific testimony concerning GCK is that um, how God touched and healed me. At the beginning of last week, I started feeling sick. Um, 
you know, I during the day I will feel strong when it's towards evening. You know, I will come down with that shivering. You know, um, feeling sick. And on Friday, towards GCK, even during GCK program, you know, I started coughing. This cough will just hurt my throat so, you know, painful. I will cough constantly and become tired. You know, I'm like, what is this? But I thank God during prayer. I believe God. After um, um, GS prayer, I trusted that God, you have healed me. You know, it, it, it was it was something else. But I want to glorify God that after that prayer, I felt relieved from that Friday after prayer till now. The cough went wherever it came from. And Amen. God healed me. And all the signs and symptoms of sickness, everything has disappeared. I am strong. I'm able to do what I needed to do. I'm able to pray. I want to glorify God for what God did for the healing that God gave me during this GCK period. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any other testimony? The Lord, your the healing shall be permanent in Jesus' name. We will Amen. keep your blessings. Any other person? Any other testimony? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. First of all, I want to thank God. Uh, my name is Sister Adigumo Renikeji from Newark Church, Delaware. I want to bless the name of the Lord, firstly, for the salvation of my soul. And um, secondly, my testimony is, is a long story, but I'll try and make it short. It all started with coming down to the United States um, last year. And before now, I've been waiting upon the Lord for another child. I actually have a seven-year-old girl, and I've been trusting God for another baby. And to the glory of God, by the time we got here, during March GCK, divine visitation at Ghana, the Lord indeed visited me to the glory of God. The Lord visited me and and the devil wanted to struck. At exactly 27 weeks of the pregnancy, I had a complication. I had um, I could not breathe well and I could not breathe well and uh, a lot, a lot. I was rushed to the emergency room to the glory of God. Um, the baby, the devil struck that night on the 29th of September, precisely 2023, 20, 20, to take my life and the baby's life. We come into the United States as family of three to reduce us to just to reduce the family. And you know, God wanted to have to the family, but the devil struck that night. And but to the glory of God, the baby came even at 27 weeks, was incubated at the NICU, and I eventually I got healed and was discharged i want to glorify the name of the lord because even while the baby was at the NICU, the church of god stood and prayed along with us we prayed and the baby grew well had no complications even though when she came she came like as in the size of a pound she came two pounds and immediately i had her she even went down to one pound but to the glory of god to you know the baby grew well, no surgery, nothing was needed. When they check, when they check her brain, when they check her lungs, she responded to everything well. As if that was not enough, the devil struck again when it was time for her to be discharged at the NICU. The baby's heart rate keep dropping. Like when it's time to discharge her, her heart rate will drop, her oxygen level will drop. They call it, the, for the medical people, they call it bradycardia and, and desaturation. But to the glory of God, just this particular, this month, GCK that we are on, on Saturday, when the pastor asked us to demonstrate our miracle, because I already set up a crib in the house. I, 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 myself and my husband, we danced with our baby, like as if we were petting her, even though she was not with us at home. We danced with her to uh, put her in a crib, to go and put her in a swing. And that Saturday, that day we did that, to the glory of God, when we got to the hospital that night, I was to go and stay by with the baby, and they told us at the hospital that she mustn't have any event before she can be discharged. <coughs> because we demonstrated our faith and that's our baby to the crib by Saturday night. And we, when we got to the hospital, 
we, we, it was just left for 24, 24 hours to be there and they would discharge her. To the glory of God, this girl had no event. Even when I got to the hospital, I met her, um, is it flopped and all that, but she had no heart rate drop and everything and nothing. And she was able to come home Sunday morning with us, and that was the best Christmas gift ever. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord, and I want the people of God to help me shout seven hallelujah to this great God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Testimony shall be permanent. The baby will grow. Emmanuel, the hand of Emmanuel continue to be upon the baby in Jesus' name. Amen. The brother John, the next. Is John, I see John. John, go ahead with the testimony. Okay, if John is not there, love, love, sister, love. Your testimony, please. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That should be the end of the testimonies. But I still encourage them that uh, next time they can give their testimonies even their church location to glorify the name of the Lord. And tomorrow also is another will be another time of a testimony. If they have not been able to give it today, they can give it tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, people. Of Hallelujah. God. Amen. Amen. Now we go choir from the nations in the Alpha location. Choir. We'll listen to the choir from the nations in the Alpha location. We now bring you choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world. This life is a journey we walk by faith. And there'll always be the mountains in our way. But right here in this moment,
Want to hear the choir from Alpha Rotation? Alpha Rotation. Choir from Alpha Location Media, please. Media Choir from Alpha Location, please. Connect us. Yes, it's still move mountains for me. It still has the power to calm every raging seas and he still walks the valleys to care for his sheep and he still moves mountains for you Dreaded diseases, they grip us with fear. People with problems is all 
have you here but my god will give me the strength through it all when i speak to the mountain it will crumble and fall and he still moves mountains for me yes yes still with a mountain so tall just remember 